So this is wombat poop. And look at that, it's square. You have to find out by if it tastes yeah, right. square. Oh, dude! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that! This is their defense. That's their defense. So there it is. Oh, you oh, are something, mate. Beauty! Woo! All right, we're hanging out with Rob and Kimberly and Dave Kaufman. How you What's doing, going guys? on? Uh, so, uh, Rob is quickly becoming one of my favorite Australians ever. Uh, you know, he looks, he's such a specimen of a man, as you can see. <laughs> this is very true. This is true. When you next see us, we will be in the bush and we will be looking for red belly blacks. Is that correct? Yes, and tiger snakes. Oh, right on. So that's the goal today. Let's hope we find them. Thank you to all you happy campers out there who support us and help make Camp Ken impossible. Just a reminder, we will be back with our live streams for all you patrons next Monday at 4 o'clock. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, you gotta have a look at a wombat hole. Every American has the same. All right, let's, we gotta show. We, he wants me to show you guys the wombat burrow. And much like gopher tortoise burrows in the States, these become places where other animals kind of congregate and use the burrow. So check it out, guys. Look at the size of this burrow. Oh, oh, there you go. Look at that. Wow. That is incredible. It, it goes way down there. So there, there would be other snakes and uh, other animals would use these, right? I don't even know about that. Okay. There's a story going around that in the bushfires, that the wombats come out of the holes and herd all the other animals into their burrows and then block the hole with their bum to protect all the other animals from the bushfire. That's the story getting around. People actually believe it, and it's been going viral at the moment, hasn't it? You've, you've heard that one? So, wombats have square poop. There it is. Come on. Look this is look at this. square poop. So, this is wombat poop, and look at that. It's square. Well, uh, it's square not real. I don't know. I don't know, dude. It looks like I don't know. To me. I don't think that's that square. It's been trampled. It's edible. Well, this, <laughs> this, this wombat may have a pooping disorder, but that... That, that is wombat I mean, it's, kind, it's, it, it's, it's kind of square-ish. Hmm. It, it, you have to find out by if it tastes yeah, square. It. Oh, yeah. dude! <laughs> he actually did it! You, hold on, shh. Can you tell me what direction the wombat is headed? Where, where is it headed? South. It's south. All right, let's go. While you guys me. finish vomiting, we're going to go continue up and look at this beautiful scenery. Good job. Okay. Yeah. How cool is this, guys? Look at this, everybody. Oh my gosh. I'll tell you what, um, this is one of the coolest detours to snake hunting I've ever been on. Just so beautiful. Um, it's really fun when you get out here and experience different continents what they have so sometimes you don't even care if you find anything it's just more about being out here and hanging out with friends and sharing stories and experiencing these really cool vistas if you will. because I'm me I'm gonna keep going a little bit further here and see what we can find oh boy I'm kind of crawling as I do this Look at this lonely gum tree. Cool. All right, let's get back to the snake hunting adventure. See you guys. Bandy? Hey, check yeah. it out, guys. We found a snake. How cool is that? Uh, just kidding. But I figured at this point in the show, I had better have a reptile or what's the point in watching, right? What are you looking at? It looks like a king snake to uh, me being from North America there, Troy. What is it? It's actually a bandy bandy. So these guys are... um. These guys are highly uh, venomous they, and well, they're not uh, highly no, venomous, they're mildly venomous. <laughs> they but they're, are mildly. they're native around, around this part of the, the country and you actually get a few different species of bandy bandies around around Australia, but this one is well the local one here. So all right, so I don't know much about Australian snakes. This is a mildly venomous snake. Is it an elapid or what it's is it? It's an elapid. I was gonna say yep. superficially, looking at the head, it actually looks reminiscent of our coral snakes. Yeah. A little bit. Just the head. Similar, is this a, a king snake? Does or? this snake like to go in burrows is it more of a kind of I don't know like what yeah, kind of use activity burrows does it? and they okay. eat they eat uh, little blind snakes so oh, they wow. feed as far as I'm aware exclusively on blind snakes cool mm. and uh, so they come out there nocturnal species they come out at night All and right. um, 
They are venomous, and I mean, if he was to give me a nip, I don't know what hap would happen because I've never been bitten, and I don't know anyone who has. And <laughs> but uh, but uh, and that's why but, we love Australians, but, everybody. But they generally they're... they generally do not bite, so I'm I'm trusting him. He's yeah. not he like they just they don't bite, but they do this cool thing. So I put him on the ground. Hang on a sec. They yeah, loop up. Oh, look at that! This is their defense. Right. That's their defense. So instead of biting straight away, oh, you upset them. They they do this. Does it maybe to make it look like they're somewhat dead or or like? It's what? like that I guess really? they make make themselves look bigger and scarier and so he's it's it's, not fooling us. No, <laughs> that is cool, man. All right, so there you go. First snake of the day. Uh, we didn't find it. These guys have snakes in the cars because they are going to be releasing some snakes. They are all snake catchers. And uh, they are paid to remove uh, snakes. You remember Cain? He's a turtle catcher too. But uh, they're paid to basically get wildlife uh, out of harm's way and out of conflict with human beings. So pretty cool. The other great thing is that hat. Mm, <laughs> Let's hat. continue. It is a good hat. That's great. Hat. Uh -huh. All right, Rob. What do you got, mate? Got what here. species you got there, bud? You're gonna have to, you're gonna have a look at it. Oh yeah, man, I'm not up on my. Shut up. Oh, oh beautiful copper. Oh my oh, god, yeah. that's oh. an Australian copperhead. Oh, look at that chunky monkey. Very cool. I think you'll become a fan of these really quickly. They, well, no, you probably already were, but uh, I mean, that's, I've I never seen one. Never ever, man. So this guy flattens out, similar to uh, a lot of the other lapids here, huh? They do, but these uh, have a sort of a defensive display that's a lot less potent <laughs> but you can never complete I mean they do have a little movement they do at the end there sometimes where they sort of go lunge at you like okay. a half-ass lunge but mostly they're like this they just sort of look at you and they're sort of accepting that's amazing so this is so what's so funny about this is it's called a copperhead and in the United States we've got a pit viper called a copperhead and uh, you know that's probably causes some confusion when North Americans show up here but uh, Dave was telling me something about a they had another name for this snake at one time Rob the superb snake the superb snake. That's much better, better name because have you noticed something about a copperhead what's, what's very distinctive about a copperhead uh, what's distinctive uh, I think that banding underneath them is no, pretty distinctive. What's what even is... more distinctive than a copperhead? Think about the name. The copperhead? The they head? don't have a copperhead! <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Brian wins the prize. Oh, no. ah, there you go. Would well, you... I, I just fair, well, I'm colorblind, just so you know, mate. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, so I have a know. hard time with colors, which is probably why I don't really care for morphs too much, but uh, which is why I like, you know, animals like this. Look at him. He's really, just like, you know, what's funny is with, uh-oh. No, what I'll do, I'll let him come a little bit closer. Okay. So he'll sit up and look at the camera a bit more. But then he, you know, I don't want to take a photo. Well, you know what's funny, man, is that these guys, similar to other elapids I've encountered, I mean, they're, they're much more alert snakes, you know, alert, in my they're... opinion. They're just very, they track you, uh, they watch, see this, you know, as I move the uh, camera, he's really having an, keeping an eye on it. But of course, guys, the thing that you want to notice, you know, and I'm talking to the people out there watching, the snake is yet to take a take a swipe at the camera and I'm only about I'd say eight or nine inches from them and again you know if you just leave these animals alone which we're not which we are not <laughs> <laughs> I can't oh, believe you did that one. yeah but he's I wish I filmed it guys you have no idea he just yeah. literally jumped grabbed one snake and the other snake was right next to him oh wait you got him oh my god oh there he is look at you you are unbelievable mate this guy is the real deal. Hang on. And there's the other one too. Where? All right. Should I try this again? What's Wait, the, is that the other one or where? is that the same snake? Right over there. there no, no, no. no. There. It's, it's, it's a good one. So we've got rid of the bad one. Oh, we got, okay. Okay. We got the pretty one. Well, are you sure? Yeah. Oh, you got him by the... I see what's happening. Okay. So Whoa. guys, look at this. Let me show you where we're at right now. We got another copperhead. And there it is. Oh, oh you are something, beauty. mate. Beauty. Woo! It's this a, one's much better than the... The, the one I was grabbing? Oh, was... Well, that's what I figured. So I, that's why I let it go. Okay. Look at that okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I was like, nah, it's sloth in. I, I don't think you guys want to see this one. So I, I let it go. I let him go. That's all right. He was the one we would have not filmed anyway. This one's the prettier one. Yeah, look at the uh, yellow kind of gold lateral stripes right, there. Right, this is beautiful, man. This so is what a copperhead should look like. Whoa. This is two copperheads within a few hundred meters. The other one's still here. Oh, right, well, that's a get, big uh, snake. Uh, yeah. uh, but we, we won't worry about the other one, we'll just worry about Whoa, this one. Whoa, hey! Hello. 
I, I, you know, I got to tell you, Rob, I just love how, uh, you know, you do your thing. Let's get yeah, into yeah, there. Yeah. Copperheads are like, but honestly, they're one of the easiest ones, but they, then again, they can be tricky in ways that I think would, people would underestimate. In, they can in what be. way? Like that? They do wiggly movements. See, look at Oh, he's doing a little death, death roll. roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's really nicely coloured. That one's beautiful. Much better than the other one. The other one was completely in slough. Yeah, like I said, you know, I'm glad I let that one go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> I, I didn't want to bore you guys with like a <laughs> subpar copperhead, you know. And uh, we didn't want to have to carry you out of here. Yeah, I think that's the, that's the key. Yeah. All right. So oh, this is beautiful. beautiful snake. So we're gonna take him up to a little better spot then. Well, you know what's cool, guys, is um, I'm easy to please. You know what? Uh, I'll walk way further just for one animal. And the fact that we got to see an Australian snake uh, out in the bush with uh, a very bushy, bushy snake man right there. <laughs> Jealous of that beard makes me miss mine. I need to get moving on it. But anyhow, uh, I just want to say thanks to Rob for bringing us out here. But for now, I'm gonna say so long and uh, like and subscribe. We had a great day and Australia does not disappoint everybody. So if you can make it down here, uh, you should do so. All right guys, we'll talk to you later. And uh, I'm gonna leave you with a couple more shots this beautiful copperhead, or I like it better, the superb snake. Oh, that's coming from, coming over here. All right, and we'll go and do my little spiel. And I'll... Ooh, just got a little dizzy getting up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.